All right, here we are at the start. Here's the adit on the left, and here's where we're headed on the right. Time to start sailing, folks. All right, here we go. We are getting ready to leave the portal and portal. head in. It is, well, this is a portal. All right, just taking a look at the depth of the water here. It is approximately a foot and a half. And looking back to the uh, where we came from. Yeah, here's how deep, deep the water is. <laughs> oh, maybe it's two, three feet deep then. Let's keep going. The height here is a bit low because of the deep water. Like I say, this is probably three feet deep here or more for now, but it does get lower as we go, so the ceiling and the attic will start to open up and, and basically rise above our heads. All right. We're about five minutes in thus far. A little bit of dripping. It just continues on and on, but it is getting uh, it is getting lower. Looking back, wow, it's big in here. All right, we're, we've come upon uh, a stope. And the tunnel just keeps going on the other side, but let's have a look. Alright, here we are in the stope. It goes off over there to the left. And there's land here to the right. So there is the, uh, the drift continuing. Like I say, here's the stope. There's actually dry land in there. You could literally get out and uh, have a nice underground living room there. Does it come up out of water down there? Kind of a pile of mud. Yeah. And then there's a uh, couple boulders down and there's a little bit of flaps. But I don't know if I can... Without walking this, I don't know if I can... Um, if I can push my way through. Yeah, we're here just past the stope, and the water has turned basically muddy. Well, that's us stirring it up a bit, but uh, just below the water surface is just pure silt and sludge. So our, our poor dinghies are having trouble uh, actually floating forward because we're kind of dragging on the surface of this pudding that's underneath, just an inch or two under the surface of the water. All right. He's, uh, he's out of the boat now. And I think we can start walking, although it's fairly muddy. It's our only choice. We can't float any longer, so we're just going to have to get our feet wet and see if our rubber boots don't go below the water. All right, we are out of the boats now, as we have no choice, because the mud comes right up so, literally standing over our rubber boots, and we've got wet feet, but uh, it's the only way to push on, so we're going to continue this way. All right, here's the insane amount of mud that we're dealing with. Just silt, like river silt, that's come into the, uh, the adit here down at the end, which is strange, because there's no real answer yet of where that's coming from, but it just goes on and on, as you can see. There's, there's looking back where we came from and this insane amount of mud, but thank goodness it actually ends now. Um, we've come into the, uh, an intersection here with a nice big stoped out area. And we've got kind of a rock fall here. 
flick around a bit. Here's where, uh, here's where the water's coming from, from this direction. We don't know why. We may find that out later. There's some old timbering here. And there is a big, uh, big wagon wheel leaning up, up against this timber here. And it is uh, steel or iron, it's not wooden. Maybe a belt went on that for some piece of equipment, or maybe it's uh, for a big cart, who knows. All right, here's a stoped out area here, and it goes up in there to some, uh, some steel bars and things that are holding something back. Be interesting to climb up there and see what that is. <laughs> Just stepped up here a little into the uh, stoped out area I just showed you. There's a bunch more, uh, bunch more things here, stoped out areas. Goes way up in there. Some timbers up in there. That goes way up. It's an interesting ore or whatever. It's either it's all moldy or a very different type of rock. Of course, looking back, there is the. Uh, the grate holding back and there's big areas up in there too all right and as the as the map shows here at the at the T intersection where we we came in over there and there's uh, the drift continues over here to the to the right and to the left and just across from where we came in there's a little uh, area where they started there and they didn't go very far if you look up, the crazy steel bars and shit holding uh, things back there. Plus there's a weird tube right there. Let's see if we can focus the flashlight in there. It just goes way back. I don't know where that tube would go, but it, uh, there's a little big stoked out area up in there. Okay, coming down the right hand to drift a ways, come into a, again more stoping and things in here, a lot of, uh, a lot of collapsed timbers and things, wow. All right, the drift continues here, but uh, up in here is, uh, again, another big stoped out area that goes way up from the drift level. Lots of old timbering, still trying to hold the ceiling up, being crushed, slowly rotting. Don't know if it ever helped much, <laughs> but they're there. Okay, the drift does continue on, but it starts getting pretty scraggy in here. Some rock falls here. There is still some, uh, some water flow, so they're still, uh, still coming from somewhere. Another collapse of sorts here. Yeah, another big stoped out area up in there, all timbered. Yeah. All right, we've come along to uh, you come along to all these little things. They they try to looks like they started to stope. And just to uh, stop, that's just a little baby one there. But it just keeps on going. There's areas off to the side. Holy. 
Oh my god. All right, we've just come out of there and uh, we've come into a huge stope. Maybe about half the size of the one at the entrance, but it's a big one. Much lower ceiling, but man, did they take a lot of material out, out of here. They went way up in there. way up in there. They stoked all that out as well. Just keep doing that with your light. I'm going to actually zoom in and get some close-ups of those. Yeah, it is a big one in here. Whoa! Whoa! And that's the drift where we came into this stope. Our only way home. That's up into where all the beaming was, where they went almost vertical. But this is a big warehouse sized room. Just to give you an idea of scale, there is a human being. <laughs> wow. All right, here we are back at the T intersection, and this time we're going to explore the drift to the left. So let's go down this tunnel, see what we find. All right. Ties, right? Oh, here comes some uh, ore cart tracks, yeah. Really? Out of the mud. Yeah. Finally, some ore cart tracks. <laughs> there never seems to be any in these. They dug them all out. These are extra wide. Yeah. They're really wide tracks. Oh, we've got uh, pipes. And here's some more water flow. All right, a bit haggard going through here. We've got a bunch of collapsed wood and there's pipes here. Let's see what we've got. Just looking back down the drift. It's all stoped out in here as well. But we're interested in seeing what happens around this corner. There's soil that came down as well. That looks like it's from outdoors, isn't it? It's very soily. That wouldn't come out of rock, would it? Right here's this. Uh, the pipes that go back there, they come along the wall here, and he's way up there, and he's found some discovery. What are you seeing up there? Just a hole up. A That's hole a up. Possible to our left, believe it or not. What's to the left? A possible. It means I want you to come up with me right here. Okay. See, he's going down there to see what we've got. Uh, further collapse. Was it a drift or just a There's little? Something here, yeah. There's, uh, that, this one's impassable. Impassable? Yeah.
Okay, now I'm up on the uh, the dirt pile here, the slope coming down, and this seems to be outdoor soil and gravel. Um, it feels outdoorsy under the feet because there's nothing like this down here. If you look up, there is a uh, what looks to be a, a shaft that goes up to the surface, but it does take a turn there to the right and all this dirt is coming down it like a chute and it could have been from when they were plugging it or filling it in that could come up somewhere there's no way for us to get up into that I can that's about 10 12 feet above my head as it is right here at the top of the, the ceiling so unfortunately that will be a great mystery but it does explain where all this loose mud and, and gravel came from it's just uh, fallen so gently down in here looks so out of place just another look at the ore cart tracks with a babbling brook down the middle and then they just head off there into the mud where they become buried all right so that ends off uh, the left hand drift and that ends off the mine because that is as far as we can go folks so this is the uh, the mystery adit up in the Folly Mountain Ore Stope Cave. Uh, actually explored. We'll see you next time.